Sister Claire Crockett Early Life Claire Crockett was born in Derry in Northern Ireland. As a young child she loved singing, writing stories and reciting poetry. In secondary school, she was most passionate about literature and theater. She was a very lively student and played the class clown at times. She joined an acting agency at 14 and got her first job at 15. She worked as a theater actor, writer and director, and as a TV presenter for Channel 4. She was a self-confessed wild child during her teenage years and loved to go partying. She wanted to become an actress after landing a small role, 5, in the Jimmy McGovern film Sunday, about Bloody Sunday in 1972 in Crockett's native Derry. Conversion After a religious experience in Spain on Good Friday, 2000, she felt called to religious life. She felt confirmation of her call in the months afterwards, including from a priest at World Youth Day, 2000 who told her surprising details of her childhood. During her final school year she felt torn between her worldly life and her call to vocation, and her worldly life seemed to be winning out. However, further religious experiences and a continued feeling of having a call helped convince her. In summer 2001, she went back to the convent of the Servant Sisters of the Home of the Mother in Spain, where she took the name Sister Claire Maria of the Trinity and the Heart of Mary. Life as a Sister She worked in Spain, the United States and Ecuador, doing pastoral care duties, hospital chaplaincy, teaching and missionary outreach. She was well known for her great interpersonal skills and was much loved by her colleagues and pupils. Death. On April 16, 2016, while she was playing the guitar and singing with her companions, the house where she was staying collapsed due to the 2016 Ecuador earthquake. Hours later, she was found lifeless under the rubble. She died due to multiple injuries in Playa Prieta, a community of Rio Chico, Puerto Viejo, Ecuador. Her remains were flown from Ecuador two weeks after her death back to her hometown of Derry and were laid to rest in the new area of the city cemetery on Lonemore Road. Since her death, the story of her life has become known to many and she has been an inspiration for her womanhood and for her exceptional commitment to her vocation. Legacy The movie All or Nothing summarizes her life. In 2020, a house-sized mural commemorating Sister Claire was unveiled near her home in Derry, and a sister in her religious order published a biography of her. The students she taught said, she was always happy and filled with infectious joy. At lunch on the day before she died she said, I am not afraid to die if death is an encounter with Christ, the one I have always desired to be with. Sister Claire and four of her students were heard singing I Prefer Paradise just before the building collapsed. Alone with Christ Alone was her vocation motto, I Prefer Paradise was the cry from within to die so as to live. Miracles Healings and fertility miracles have been attributed to her after people prayed for her intercession and there have been calls for her to be declared a saint. Usually, a beatification process doesn't begin until at least five years after a person's death. In January 2021, her order said that they had begun to take steps in view of opening the cause of her beatification, but that it also depends on the local ecclesial authorities in Ecuador, as set out in the Catholic Church's relevant document, Sanctorum Mater. Sister Claire Crockett, pray for us. Oil dedicated to Sister Claire Crockett, now available at a blessed call to love.